TikToks. We got a big, yes. big week of TikToks yes. this week. I so I've these. got a total of eight TikToks. Eight? Eight. Ocho. Holy cow, man. All right. Hey, let's get started, man. Let's not waste any more so, time. So uh, one of them was actually submitted by uh, an audience member and a friend of the show, uh, Nico, who we both know. <laughs> oh, what's up, yeah, Nico? So shout out to Nico. This one uh, was one that I actually uh, – she sent me, and I thought it was perfect timing because we've been talking a lot about rebooting Clonecast, and uh, okay. this, is, this goes perfectly alongside that. Perfect. The seven stages of watching the Clone Wars. Homie's invested now. Oh, yeah. He's comfortable. Oh, he's, he's in it. He's bought the helmet. He's in. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, man. And I got to be honest with you. It's the perfect encapsulation of that show because first yeah. four seasons, it... it it, it it needs it needs time to cook, but once you get into the five, six, seven, man, like especially seven, seven is such a fantastic season. Um, I can't wait, man! I'm excited. Yeah, we're gonna have to dive back into that and dive back in mm-hmm. hard. So, uh, thank you, Nico, for that one. You actually submitted some TikToks this week. Yeah. We got one of them right here, which is uh one of our new favorite robot, Mister Chopper. Yes, my boy. <laughs> i just love it because he's like bad. is that bad why well, i, I, crash I love that you can somewhat understand what he's saying like yeah it's how it's so funny and what's what's even funnier i think is i've seen a lot of tiktoks recently about that scene in particular where chopper's kind of like talking and mm-hmm. funny enough it's almost like people interpret it differently. Mm -hmm. Like somebody like that one, it said, is that bad? Uh, And I saw one that was like, yeah, so, and, (laughs) and it was like different ways of him being like, yeah, okay. And like, (laughs) so I was like, that's funny. Like it's all how you interpret it. And it's, that's what I think makes it so great is you almost can understand what he's saying. It sounds muffled. And it's like, you're almost interpreting what you want to hear or what you think he's saying. So I think it's, it's awesome. Yeah, there was one uh, I saw earlier, and I think it was like a reels or something like that, and I and mm. I couldn't save it. But it was basically a guy watching Chopper and hearing his voice, and he's like, "Do I understand Droid now?" And like he immediately <laughs> goes back to the other ones, and he's like listening to R two, and he's like, "What are you trying to say?" <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> oh do I do gosh. I understand Droid? So do I um, understand Droid. For those of you listening at home, obviously what we just watched was Chopper saying that we should kill citizens underneath us by letting a ship crop, and uh, it's turning into a bat, uh, like a little, like kind of a badass. Um, Chopper is a war criminal in uh, Rebels because, like, he's such a villain for the Empire that he's considered a war criminal, and uh, I think the evidence is starting to pile up, specifically with this video uh, right here. Yes. Oh my gosh. Chopper. Oh man. I've seen so little of Chopper, but I love him so much. Oh. You can get Chopper at Galaxy's Edge, can't you? You can. And they've got a little Chopper. voice modulation the kit as like well. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah, wah. Just That's amazing. Full on. Um Fantastic. Let's see, what else we got? This one, um, as a Lego fan and as a Star Wars Lego fan, this one kind of hit home for me this week. What? Go show mommy. No, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he not only dropped the ship, but then someone put in the clip of the ty- of the X-Wing pilot blowing What's up. What's his name? What do they call him? Porky? Pork chop? Something, Something like, like that, man. <laughs> God, no. Oh, man, poor kid. 
Poor kid. Oh man, that was that. Yeah, I was already kind of freaking out because I was like, "Oh no, not the Legos!" And then mm-hmm. that was funny. Yeah, was he funny. was running with the Lego ship, and I I thoroughly enjoy videos. Some of them are staged, but I thoroughly enjoy the videos where people are holding Lego sets and they accidentally drop them. Um, you just because that? it's like, yeah, it's like fraud and shoid where I'm like, oh, that's not happening <sighs> to me. Ah, uh, definitely. That, that's just that. painful to me because I, I I have a lot of Star Wars Legos and. Mm-hmm. The time it takes to put those together and how how fulfilled you feel when you're done with them for that to have fall and break into a junk bunch of pieces would just be heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. yeah, BD one <laughs> took me, I think, like six hours to build. Oh jeez. Yeah, so if that fell out if that broke, I'd probably have a major <laughs> issue. <laughs> um again. you want some uh whiny Anakin Skywalker in your life this week? Oh yeah, absolutely. Everybody loves a little whiny Anakin, right? Let's uh pop this up. It's all Obi-Wan's fault. He's jealous. He's holding me back. (laughs) Not Colonel Sanders. The um, Umdumla Ambligata. Oh my gosh, man. Two movies I never thought I would see put together. Nope. Did you ever know that uh, that Happy Gilmore was in the Star Wars universe? Right. I never, never... I don't know. I guess I just didn't realize how whiny he sounded in that moment. Like the yeah. build up to it, he kind of like gets real into it. And by the end of it, it's almost like you can come somewhat understand the emotion. But just playing that at the height of him being emotional like that, I was like, Ugh. yeah, I've debated having like a TikTok account where I do like Star Wars out of context, where like you literally Ooh, just take scenes like that. And it's just like, oh, like he is kind of a whiny little bitch. Same thing with Luke. Like, as badass as Luke is, he has some very whiny things that he says throughout the movie. Yeah. Sorry, Mark Hamill. Yeah. Sorry, Mark. But <laughs> um, you have probably, you're, you're a fan of the talks and you're a fan of the Vine. So you have probably seen the video of the dudes debating about, like, the Wizard of Oz. Where he's like, the Galinda wizard. was oh, yeah, the yeah. good witch. She the was literally in a witch. bubble, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This next video. Are you blind? 100% <laughs> same energy as okay. that one. So. Love it. Anakin as a child. And that Who first... cares? Listen. Oh, it's a real Listen. important part of the story. You have to see him as a child. To yes, because it makes it more dramatic. Which it makes it more dramatic when he turns, Tom. What Am I wrong? You are wrong. Am I wrong? No one wrong. Am I wrong? I think she was the exact same words. Oh, grow up. Am I wrong? (laughs) Oh, we need to know about him when he's a kid. (laughs) My challenge to you, internet, is we have t-shirts of the bubble guys arguing. I want a t-shirt with those two guys arguing, just like what they're saying. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's great. Yeah. Grow up. Um, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i love the guy that's like arguing about like a, the 10 year old in star wars saying grow yeah. up well the other favorite part that i have about this is there's a friend let's see if i can get it this dude who's literally <laughs> like he's like i'm in a moment right now and i need to get this on camera they're just filming they're just like mm, look at this argument taking place <laughs> they both got guitars. One's a drummer, and they're fighting about Phantom Menace. And oh man, am I wrong? <laughs> am I grow up? Yeah. Grow- <laughs> when we have a heated debate, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, just- grow up. <laughs> this one I'll have to ex- explain for the audio listeners. So let's just pause this real quick. When the laundry is done drying, but it has to be folded and put away. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. That's, that is my wife. <laughs> One thousand like, percent. Actually, that's me too, actually. I'm, yeah. I'm, still, I'm pretty sure I have a pile of laundry in my room that's folded up, ready yeah. to be put away. I just haven't put it away. I literally will fold laundry. I'll put it on hangers, but I'm like, I can't put it in the closet. It's just going to sit here. And then throughout <laughs> the week, I just pick from the pile. Pick and stack. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. They You know what? Galaxy far, far away. They haven't figured it out either, apparently. Bro, I saw a machine that can wash, dry, and fold your clothes. 
um, what? all it's like a three in one machine, and I'm like, that's we're getting to the Jetsons. Wow, I can't wait. Wow, yeah. Can you imagine that, Alexa? Fold my clothes. Oof. I'm waiting to see if Alexa goes off in the background and saying, "I, I <laughs> cannot do that." <laughs> Would you like to know dry cleaners in your area? Yeah. Um, final one. It, it's kind of just out there, but uh, we were talking about owning some lightsabers last week, and this one is titled The Most Advanced Lightsaber in the World. This lightsaber costs $700 and is my most advanced saber in my collection, but let's see if it can hold up to that price tag. Let's just start with the absolute best thing about this saber, the OLED screen on the side, mm -hmm. which lets you play games on it. I can play Tetris, Space Invaders, Pong, or I can just watch the entire original Star Wars movie, A New Hope, in 8-bit. Okay. okay. No way. Watch what? the movie in 8-bit. That's so awesome. That's so incredible. What is the purpose of <laughs> I want to see. I want to see somebody on a plane next to me that's just like this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> know that? Just watching Star Wars? Yeah. Sir, I don't think I can let you go through security with that. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm just watching Star Wars. That's all I'm doing. That's freaking awesome. But wait, there's more. There's more? <laughs> you can put custom display pieces on the OLED for specific fonts like when Anakin chopped up all those kids. Oh, no. <laughs> Brian, stop with the youngling slaying. It has shrouds at the top of the emitter, which can be removed for a different style, and it also comes with the best soundboard on the market, Crystal Focus. Homie's skin. That dude definitely is skilled. I can't do that. I, I was wondering how long it was going to go. Is that it? Yeah, that was the video. What a random One minute ending. long. Yeah, that, it is a little bit weird. Half He's like, just him dancing in the street. <laughs> Let me show you how cool I look. <laughs> Everyone come look at how cool I am. <laughs> With my $700 tax write-off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, I have a bootleg copy of Star Wars on the hill. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a dope lightsaber. Um, I forgot that it had the kids. But that's pretty dope. <laughs> that was. You're keeping true to your. Your promise you made about slaying youngling every week every week has got a youngling <laughs> death but yeah um 700 dollars lightsaber Ugh. and i mean i just i can't get myself to spend that like galaxy edge was pushing it at like 200 but have you seen the uh retractable one the one that goes up and down is that the one that they have like that disney they created? had at the uh star wars what was that hotel called uh star cruiser cruiser yeah something like that um yeah they use they use it in like the show there and it's funny because like they use it and then it like goes up and then she like bends down and grabs the other one that she can fight with. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm like how, when are they coming out with that i would love to have that i would love to have an actual not an already piece there but just holding a hilt and then pulling that out and just that would just be so yeah. freaking sweet 